Welcome to Miss Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV scenes where actors couldn't keep a straight face. What about if I tell you the things I don't want? Okay. For this list, we'll be looking at scenes in various TV series where an actor breaks character. We will not be including live sketch series like Saturday Night Live, however, as they deserve their own list. Did you notice any of these goofs? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Rosa Smiles Brooklyn Nine-Nine On Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Rosa Diaz is the resident tough one, which is why it's so bizarre to see her laughing. Wait for it. Wait for it. In one of the show's most memorable cold opens, Amy is late for work, prompting her co-workers to theorize where she is. Captain Holt soon saunters up and asks why no one is working. It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. When he adds that he'd like to join in their little game, actress Stephanie Beatriz totally breaks character. I'd like to play. I'd say she's... She smiles and covers her grinning mouth with her hand. It's quite amazing that Andre Brower can make someone laugh with so little effort. This is fun. It is fun. Number 9. Peanut Butter Wrap Community Okay, seeing Jim Rash dressed as a peanut candy bar is enough to make anyone break out laughing. Payday is postponed until next week, so this is my freestyle rap apology. To apologize for Payday being late, Dean Pelton dresses as a Payday bar and performs a rap for the students. Joel McHale and Gillian Jacobs clearly have a tough job, as they're forced into the same shot as the rapping Jim Rash. Barack Obama is scared! because I don't swallow knowledge and I spit it for free. Let me clear my throat. <laughs> they do their best to keep it together, but Jacobs just barely holds on. I don't know what that was. <laughs> when she turns back in shock after the Dean runs out of the room, it's very clear that she's holding in a laugh. Number eight, the papers. Yes, Prime Minister. This is a British political satire that ran on the BBC throughout the back half of the 80s. In a particular scene, Prime Minister Jim Hacker explains the demographics of certain newspapers to the character Humphrey Appleby. With respect, Prime Minister, it is not. The only way to understand the press is to remember that they pander to their readers' prejudices. He lists off many popular papers and gives a quick yet hilarious explanation regarding their readership. It is all performed in one continuous shot. The Daily Mirror is read by people who think they run the country. The Guardian is read by people who think they ought to run the country. <laughs> the Times is read by the people who actually do run the country. <laughs> the Daily Mail is read by the wives of the people who run the country. When the camera finally cuts back to Humphrey, actor Nigel Hawthorne is clearly stifling a laugh. <laughs> I'm Prime Minister, what about the people who read The Sun? His smile is hilariously evident, and he even touches his nose in a desperate attempt to stop the laughter from breaking out. Number 7. The Spider Song – It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia There are many scenes throughout this beloved FX sitcom where actors break character by either smiling or giggling. I'm a singer! Charlie's doing the song. Yeah. The song was light. Yeah. The song okay, was light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things out. Do the song. Do, do the song. In season 9's The Gang Tries Desperately to Win an Award, Charlie gets high on paint fumes and sings about spiders in his soul. The second he starts, the camera cuts to actor Rob McElhenney, who nearly breaks with a laugh. There's a spider, spider, spider. It's deep in my soul. Instead, he hangs his head in shame so that his face cannot be seen. However, faint glimmers of a smile can still be seen around his mouth and cheeks, betraying the otherwise clever idea. That's exactly no, right. No, I'm happy no, with that. Totally. Number 6. Spitting on the Baby – Third Rock from the Sun Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a consummate professional, but even he is prone to breaking character from time to time. In a second season episode of Third Rock from the Sun, Harry and Tommy are reluctantly feeding Mrs. Dubchek's grandson. Could I ask you folks to do me a favor? No, 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 no. no could, could you uh, watch a little guy while I run out to the doctors? No. Yes, we'd be happy to. The scene is shot from the baby's point of view, and at one point, he spits his food back onto Tommy's face. Hey, he likes it! <laughs> Maybe not. In a great bit of improvisation, French Stewart put some food into his mouth and spit it onto the camera in an act of retaliation. <laughs> 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 
Joseph Gordon-Levitt wasn't expecting it, however, and he breaks out with some obvious laughter. Admittedly, it really works for the scene. Number 5. Dean's Outburst – Supernatural This fantasy show worked in large part due to the chemistry of Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki. Good? I'll live. I guess we're back to normal now, huh? It's obvious that the two legitimately got along and enjoyed each other's company. One only needs to watch this scene to see that. In the third season episode, Bad Day at Black Rock, Bella steals Dean's winning lottery tickets. Upon this realization, Dean utters a loud curse, which causes Jared Padalecki to break. He is clearly smiling and trying to contain himself before the words are even uttered, but when they are, he turns away from the camera so that his laugh cannot be seen. Luckily, this laugh also works for the scene, so the editors decided to keep it in. Son of a bitch! Number 4. The Answering Machine Message – Curb Your Enthusiasm Actors containing their laughter on Curb Your Enthusiasm should probably be worth an Emmy. Unfortunately, neither Larry David nor Richard Lewis could keep it composed in this scene. I hate doing this because, you know, you always, you always take it the wrong way. You've taken everything the wrong way ever since I'd known you. The two are viciously arguing over an answering machine message. The mere concept of the two grown men nearly coming to blows over a stolen answering machine message is hilarious, and it quickly gets to the actors. Oh, you don't even know what you're talking about. You are you so You have my made. same answering machine outgoing message, and it that's, bugs that's me. That's my message. I you didn't get that message. You wrote it in Paris. You wrote it in Paris. I had that message seven years ago. The argument begins well enough, but it's not long before they are both smiling and desperately trying to contain their laughter. David has a particularly hard time, and at one point, he audibly breaks into a giggle. I no. wrote it seven and a half years ago. Whose memory stolen. are you going to trust, okay? An ex-alcoholics or a person who was lucid 24 hours a day his whole life? Do me a favor. Who's my, what? Please change it. What? He tried. He really did. Number three, Kramer's Busted Car, Seinfeld. If anyone has ever seen Seinfeld, they'll know that Jerry often has trouble keeping himself from smirking. Meanwhile, if you've ever seen bloopers from the show, you'll know that Julia Louis-Dreyfus had a hard time staying in character. However, in this instance, the giggles come from Jason Alexander. The script for The Parking Garage had the gang driving away at the very end. All right, let's get it up, up. But when it came time to shoot the scene, the car wouldn't start. This made for an even funnier ending. It also resulted in natural reactions from the actors. Jason Alexander can be seen in the backseat smiling and turning away from the camera. This wasn't the only time Alexander broke, however. He can also be seen laughing after Kramer's burp in the Merv Griffin Show episode. <laughs> okay, uh, we're back. Number two, Ross plays the bagpipes, Friends. If there's one thing that Jennifer Aniston finds hilarious, it's instruments being played badly. In season four, she openly laughs while David Schwimmer plays the keyboard. Three seasons later, Ross decides to play the bagpipes at Monica's wedding, despite having no prior experience. Schwimmer actually played the bagpipes for the scene, which made things even better. Remember, I'm, I'm still learning. Lisa Kudrow somehow manages to keep it together and begins singing along to Ross's horrible noise. Of course, that's what finally breaks Jennifer Aniston. You know the song. Sing along. <laughs> the actress can be seen smiling and covering her mouth. She eventually fully breaks and buries her face in her hand. It still manages to work with the scene, and we are so happy they left it in. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Prison Mike – The Office Steve Carell has a natural ability to make everyone laugh. What would you like for Christmas, little boy? I don't know. 
I, I didn't know you were going to ask me that. In the episode Secret Santa, Ed Helms had to actually abandon a shot because he was laughing so hard. However, the most memorable reactions can be seen when Carell plays Prison Mike. On the Office Ladies podcast, Angela Kinsey revealed that the cast had a really tough time getting through this scene. You know why they call me Prison Mike? Do you really expect us to believe you're somebody else? Do you really expect me to not push you up against the wall, biatch? Oh, wow. yes. She points to John Krasinski and Phyllis Smith in particular, as both can be seen breaking character and laughing. For example, Krasinski is legitimately laughing after Michael mentions the Dementors. The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. They were flying all over the place and they were scary and then they come down and they suck the soul out of your body and it hurt. Luckily, Rashida Jones keeps it together long enough to ask if he just stole a supernatural creature from a fantasy novel, which he totally didn't. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.